2017. Aona nyalipopo anasema walibakwa. <laughs> Tuko pia na vijana wetu wa boda boda. Hebu pigia vijana wetu wa boda boda makofi. Pia tuko hapa na community health workers sisi hapa Bungoma tunawaita madaktari mashinani. Haya pia wamekuja. Tuko pia na walimu wa ECD. Na wana wachache pia wamekuja. People living with disability. Naona chama ni yuko. Viongozi wa program ya World Bank Narig. Ah, coordinators wa Narig wapigie makofi. Viongozi wa market zetu katika Bungoma County. Market leadership. Wako wapi? Ndi hawa wapa nyuma wachache kidogo. Wameka wanyika. Uh, union yetu ya wafanyikazi wa serekali, Count Government Union. Asante uh, sana wapigie makofi. Pia tuko na wazee wetu, Kanzo Velas, wakiongozwa na mzee Patrick Wangamati. Pia tuko na viongozi wa chama changu cha Ford Kenya. Wako Tuko na vijana youth leaders na university students Wako hapo Pia tuko na scholarship parents Scholarship parents Eh nimeona wachache wamekuja Pia tuko na madirector wa stage. Hebu pigia madirector makofi. Pia tuko na wakulima, dairy, sugar na coffee farmers. Eh hey, naona wachache wameenuka hapa. Pia tuko na Salam Clubs. Wa Mumbo. Wa Sulwe. Naona wamekuja wachache. Let them just appreciate everyone who is here. Wapigie makofi wote. Kama zijaita excellence governors, let me quickly just make my speech. Alafu, ndiyo ni alau governors wakuje wa comment. Badae, nitampatia mwishmi wa mwenyini alete wa bunge. Nitaleta ma governors kwanza, nilete chair. Alafu chair, nitaleta waziri. Akisha ongea, tutapatia mwishmi wa mwenyini na fast alete wa bunge guest of honor the cabinet secretary devolution and all excellence governors and the members of parliament who are here in the county assembly it is a very very big honor for me today as the second governor of bungoma to stand before the entire county of Bungoma to basically give a mid-term report on what you have done over the last three years. On behalf of the people of Bungoma, I extend a warm welcome to every single person who is here. 
and say thank you for traveling all the way, whether from Kisumu, whether from West Pokot, whether from Transoya, to ensure that you are part and parcel of the occasion today. First, I want to make a special thank you to the members of Council Assembly of Bungoma for having the wisdom to ensure that we work closely as a team so that we can achieve what we have achieved over the last three years. I want to say thank you to the current leadership of the Account Assembly of Bungoma, led by the Speaker and the Leader of Majority, Mwishimiwa Nyongesa, and say that the relationship we have established we need to foster that relationship going forward in the next two years as we run down to the elections 2022. But I also want to take this opportunity to thank the leadership that was there before the current leadership. Because we worked very closely under the current speaker and the former leader of majority, Madam Florence, and the deputy speaker then. I also want to say thank you for that working environment that we had for almost two and a half years. But as I do that, I also want to appreciate one member of Kaunda Assembly of Bungoma. And that member of Kaunda Assembly of Bungoma may not be with us today. He's unwell. We visited him on Sunday. But he's one guy whom I do respect a lot. Once in a while, we always quarrel. Nadhani mnajua mwishmiwa Muhongo. MCA wa chwele kapchai. I think I want to say for those who are here, if his family is here, we want to wish him all the best, but just tell him that as a government, we appreciate what he has done for us over the last three years. To my wife, Carol, you have been very special to us. You have been special to me as the governor of Bungoma County, but you have also been very special to the residents of Bungoma County. And I think when the video will be shown, the documentary, all of us here will appreciate the work that the First Lady has done in this county. I also want to extend my regards to my dad and my mom who are here and say thank you first, of all, first and foremost for being here today but for being part and parcel of my life as I endure, as I push forward what we need to do for the people of Bungoma. Chief Guest, under my leadership, Bungoma County has invested heavily in the sector of education. And that involves student support, teacher conversation, and infrastructure development across the entire county. Under the Governor's Scholarship Program, for your information, for every, every year, 40,000 students sit the standard eight exams in Bungoma County. Out of these 40,000 students, 5,000 qualify to go to our national schools across the entire country. Out of the 5,000, only 2,000 managed to go to their chosen national schools in this county. It is because of this that when I came in the office, I made a decision to set up the Governor Scholarship Program that now has had, 
has been running for the last three years. This governor scholarship program gives an opportunity to students from very poor background who have been chosen to go to some of our top national schools and because of the environment they come in, come from, they are unable to do so. I remember very well that in 2017 there was one boy who did his first standard eight exams way back in 2014. This young man scored 325 marks in 2014. But because the parents could not manage he went back to repeat in 2015 and got about 385 marks. But because the parents, again, were not able to take this young man to high school, he went back in 2016 in Standard 7 and came and sat Standard 8 in 2017 and got 425 marks. This young man, when I became governor in 2017 and set up the scholarship program in 2018, we managed to pick him up. And now he's doing his third form in Kabsabed High School. The governor scholarship program for those who are here with us in January this year, we have about 1,500 students in different schools across the entire country. In Form 1, we have about 450 students. In Form 2, about 490 students. And then in Form 3, about 600 students. And these kids are all over across the country. Through this program, we're ensuring that a son of a Mamamboga, a son of a Bora Bora, will eventually be able and have an opportunity to sit on the same table with a son of a governor, a son of an MCA, a son of a principal, or a son of everyone else, and be able to move forward their life. The governor's scholarship program this year, in partnership with the business community in Bungoma and beyond Bungoma, we have intentions that the intake for 2021 will push the number to almost 1,000 students. Chief guests, in Bungoma center that is mainly but we are also doing one in Chaptais. in this financial year we'll be doing one in Tongaren, one in Matulo in Webuye West, basically every single sub-county one one, uh, even in Bumula I think we'll be doing one in Hasoko When I assumed office in first of, I mean, on the 8th of August 2017, I inherited a workforce of about 2,000 ACD teachers who had been teaching for nine months without pay. I did not only ensure they are paid their dues, but a thousand to about 23,000 Kenya shillings. For a diploma teacher, for to about 28,000 Kenya. We did backdate their salaries and pay their runs. And when the documentary will be showing, you'll see how that changed their lives uh, within that period. Chief Guest, on the agriculture sector, 
we are doing a lot of stuff, but we are focused on about three or four things that we are doing. One sector that we are spending a lot of energy on is the dairy sector. That chief guest, we have set up coolers across the county, one in Kimaiti, Kaptama, and our intention that every single world in this county should have a cooler for collection of milk. We are also in the process of setting up a dairy processing plant in Webuye. We have finished the construction of the dairy processing plant. What is now remaining is basically equipping the plant in Webuye, the dairy processing plant. Mr. Speaker, I mean, Mr. Mgeno Eshima, sorry, I'm talking as if I'm making the... I think, uh, you know, Mgenu Eshima, I normally do this counter address in the counter assembly. And I'm forgetting that I'm not in the counter assembly. That are now addressing the residents of Bungoma directly. Mgenu Eshima, our intentions is basically to revamp the entire dairy sector and ensure that come early next year the milk processing plant in Webuye is up and running and also ensure that we start processing our milk in this county. For information, Chief Guest, in Bungoma County, the number of leaders, liters that are produced of milk is probably about 240,000 liters of milk. And Nearly all that milk ends up not being processed. And our intention is to ensure that we finish the milk processing plant on time so that allow our farmers to access the market and allow that milk to be processed. Chief guests, The other sector that we have done a lot of investment in is the coffee sector. And Mgeno Eshima, the coffee sector in this county, and I have two great coffee farmers in this house today, Mwishmiwa Omunyenya and Mwishmiwa Eseli, who are big coffee farmers, they'll tell you that the annual income that we get as a county is about 1 billion shillings. Yes, about one billion shillings. One billion Kenya shillings that we get. As a government, we are just finishing, we have actually finished constructing two milling factories. That is Musese and Cheskaki. And we have installed everything, and our intention is that we should start milling very soon. But we are also helping our farmers in terms of accessing seeds so that they can maximize in their output. I'm trying to run through the, the issues because I know people are tired just to ensure that I capture everything. On the health sector, we are doing a lot of stuff on the health sector. One, in terms of infrastructure, we are in the process of constructing a 300-bed maternity wing at the Rifaro Hospital. That maternity wing, Mgenu Eshima, the current hospital was built way back, I think, in 1956 with a bed capacity of about 232. Between 2013 and 2017, the previous administration added about 16 beds. We are in the process of building a new maternity wing with about 300 beds. This maternity wing will be done and finished probably by April or May next year. But in addition to that, we are also addressing the issue of infrastructure 
across the entire country, county. We are also building an 100 bed maternity wing in Sericia sub county. We, are also, we have also gotten a grant, which you are aware, the Kenya Development Support Program for, for this financial year, that we'll be using to build an 100 bed maternity wing in Bumola. We are also be building another 100 bed maternity wing, which we launch the construction in Brigadier in Tongaren. Mwishimio Mgeno Eshima, in the health sector, what we have also done is basically revamp our entire infrastructure at the sub-county level. If today you went to Cheptai sub-county hospital, you may think it's a new hospital. If you went to Bokoli sub-county hospital, you may think it's a new hospital. If you went to Kimilili sub-county hospital, you may think it's a new hospital. If you went to Naitiri sub-county hospital, you may think it's a new hospital. We have basically revamped and renovated our entire infrastructure of our sub-county hospitals across the county. But in addition to that, we are also doing a number of dispensaries across the county to enhance our service delivery at a primary level. And that is, we are renovating Mechimeru, we are renovating Malakisi, we are renovating Kapchai, we are renovating Tongaren, Milo, Kimaiti, and Blondo dispensaries across the entire county. Others are Nasusi, Karima, and Kaptanai dispensaries. On recruitments and promotions, Mgeno Eshima. Over the last one year, we have given promotions to our entire healthcare workforce. And some of them had not received promotions for the last almost 20 years. I think I remember when we were giving letters, there was a lady who had not received promotions since 1989. And I can tell you, Mgeno Eshima, and I know Professor Nyang Nyong is here. I'm one of those few counties that we have not had a strike in the health sector for some time. And it is because we have a very good working relationship with our health workers in this county. Mgeno Eshima, when I came to the office, to enhance healthcare delivery service at a primal level, I made a decision to put our mandatory machine and the community health workers on a stipend every month. And we have about 3,500 community health workers in the entire country. We made our decision. They receive about 2,000 to 3,000 every month. And it has gone a long way in motivating the Madaktari Mashinani in this country. Mgenu Ashima, as I finish talking about the drugs, I mean the health sector, it's important that I mention that when I came in the office prior to 2017 and after 2017, we used to hear problems in terms of shortage of drugs across the entire health sector. As we speak now, I don't think today any resident in Bungoma County will walk in any dispensary or any health center or any sub-county hospital and say there are no drugs in those facilities. We have ensured that we have drugs in our facilities all the time both at the primary level and at the sub-county as well as at, the, at our referral hospital. Mgenu Eshma, coming back to infrastructure development, 
And I just want to summarize because I know uh, people are tired. When I came to the office, I took the decision to open up the road network in this county. And I think all the residents who are here will bear witness that nearly in every single ward, we have opened up roads in the entire county. When I came to the office, Mgeni Oeshima, this one you also helped me, is that I realized that the main road in our town from Kandui to Mskoma was giving us a lot of issues. I took the decision that we need to do all that road, which is about 6.5 kilometers of length. As we speak now, I'm getting to Eshima, the contractor is on site, and I'm sure the excellence governors have seen. The drainage has been done. The work that has been done is at about 40%. The contractor has told us that with the current rains and looking at the program of works, that road will be done by August or October 2021. That road, when it's done, I'm going to Eshima, it will open up the entire Bungoma County. It will open up the entire Bungoma town. And we believe that it will encourage even investors to come to this county. Yeah. In addition to that, I'm going to Eshima, there's a road that when I took over office, the previous administration had done about 800 meters, basically uh, uh, Brigadier to Misihu. As we speak now, we have tarmacked that road from Brigadier to Naitiri, and we have agreed with the national government, which you are aware, that they will be tarmacking that road from Naitiri to, to Misihu. And I think once that road is done, it will basically open up the entire region of Tongaren. I think it is the first it is the first major road in Tongaren. Karibu sana mwishimi wa Tichilo ambaye ni governor wa Jimbo La Vega. Mgenueshima, through the Department of Land, Housing and Urban Planning, the county government has over the last two years abrogated about 10 kilometers of urban earth roads to AC tarmac standards. These include Kandui Makutano, Sharif Center, Mama Fanta, Enikimilili Risiki, DC Slaughterhouse, and Kimilili Junction through to Kimili High School. This was made possible after the county government, under the, my leadership, formally pushed for the adoption of charters for both Bungoma Town and Kimili Town. My government has delivered, in terms of Maram roads, I think we have done over 1,500 kilometers of Maram roads over the last three years. Mgenu Eshima, one of the things that we also realized when you came to the office is the connection between wards. And the fact that most of the roads do not connect wards because of bridges. Over the last three years, we have done about 45 bridges connecting different wards in the entire county. The previous administration, 2013, 2017, about 15 bridges only. But over the last three years, we have done about 45 bridges. On the water sector, I'm going to Eshima, you are aware that we did sign a contract with our Korean friends for the Koiga water project that comes all the way from Mount Elgon. Phase one was completed. It comes via Chuele up to Skata. Phase two is about to be launched, and that one will come up to this university. 
That project will cost about $6 million. That's about 600 million Kenya shillings. In addition to that, Mgeno Eshima, to help drilling of boreholes across the entire county, this last financial year, we took our decision with the approval of the county assembly to buy our own drilling machine. And now we have our own machine and we have started drilling boreholes using our own machine. And you'll see it during the video. In sports, my government is investing in development of infrastructure in the sports sector. We have commenced the construction of the Masinde Muliro Stadium, phase one. The first phase of the stadium, year marked for completion next year, is designed to accommodate about 5,000 people. This project will, only, will not only address the issue of training for talented youth, but also offer a platform through which many of the youth in the county shall be inspired through interaction with the people within the stadium. In Mount Elgon, we are completing the high altitude training center in Kaptama. Works are already underway to complete the 50 state of the art rooms as basically hostels. Increasingly, the narrative in Bungoma is changing from sports as a skill and talent to sports as a career. In May 2018, through the Department of Energy, Trade and Industry, we started the work of lighting up markets across the county. The project saw a total of about 493 lights installed on 52 markets in the entire county. We have trained, and I think the residents of Bungoma will note this, we have trained five technicians or electricians on installation, repair, and maintenance of lights on our markets and acquired a state-of-the-art cherry picker that moves around the entire county repairing lights on our markets. And I think the residents of Sirisia will bear witness because I think the last two weeks we were able to repair the entire lights on that market of Sirisia. Hello. Hello. In 2019, I granted charters officially establishing Pungoma and Kimilini municipalities. Already the residents of Bungoma and Kimilini municipalities are reaping the dividends of urbanization. So far, we have abrogated about four earth roads in both Bungoma and Kimilili as a result of the KUS program uh, funded by the World Bank. May this month, I launched the second phase of urban upgrade in Bungoma and Kimilini municipalities. Other roads are marked for upgrade in Bungoma municipality, of course, Haitias, Wholesale, Diamond Trust, KRA Simba Street, those are basically streets within Bungoma County, I mean Bungoma Town. Atling Adams Hardware, Mawingo Simba Street, Bethesda Bungoma High School and DB Primary School. Also scheduled for upgrade under this program is Bungoma Municipality in Sunrise, Marel, and Namuyemba in Kandui. In Kimilini Municipality, the market, the Monday markets, bus park, are slated for major innovations, including doing a fresh roof, fitting local lockable stalls and provision of storage for our traders. I have also started recapitating the bus park in Kimilili, erecting passenger sheds and building the state-of-the-art and eco-friendly public toilets in Kimilili. Traders on the Thursday market are also set to benefit as we erect a perimeter wall, come stores market, because basically we are redoing the entire Thursday market in Kimilili. In terms of expanding the boundaries, 
I petition the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing, and Urban Development to expand the boundary of Bungoma Municipality because initially Bungoma Municipality was only two wards. It was Township and Halaba. We now want the boundary to include even where we are, Tuti Marakari and the Kibabi University be part of the municipality. Bukembe to be part of the municipality, Sangalo to be part of the municipality, and part of South Bukusu to be part of the municipality. The same thing for Kimilili. We are also expanding the boundary to include Kamkuya to be part of the Kimilili municipality. I have also requested, and the committee sat and came up, and recently, I think this week, we are also setting up new municipalities in Webuye and Chwele. Those, in my view, by 1st of December this year, Webuye will be a municipality, Chwele will be a municipality. Chief Guest, I think I'm coming to the end of it. I know it has taken quite a bit. But um, just to summarize, because of the urbanization program, and I think you are aware, Chief Guest, as part of the SWED program, the Bungoma municipality is slated to get about 1 billion Kenya shillings from the UK government that will come direct to this uh, municipality. Hello. Let me leave it there. Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii ni walete governors wetu wenye wametutembelea. Waacha nianze on my right na mheshimiwa Professor Anyang Nyong ambaye ni governor wa Jimbo la Kisumu akuja wasalamie na aseme machache Thank you very much my brother governor weekly fangamati let me begin first of all by welcoming on behalf of myself and the people of Kisumu the Cabinet Secretary for Devolution, Mweshimiwa Eugene Wamalwa. Thank you so much for uh, making it possible for us to convene here today, invited by Governor Wangamati, to witness this very great occasion of the Governor giving his state of the county address. I want to also to recognize my dear chairman of the Lake Region Economic Block, as well as chairman of the Council of Governors, the indomitable Governor Oparanya. The Governor of the great county of Kakamega, our neighbor, Najirani Mwema, Governor Will Bautichilo from Vihiga. And as I was sitting here, I was sharing notes with uh, uh, Governor James Ongwai from Kisi, and we were just noting with great admiration the young man from Bongoma. Mimi ningesemba kusemenda kusemenda ya kuamba sisi katika baraza na ma governors wote kutoka Kenya. Tunaitaji huyu kijana. Nadhani kama nyinyi watu wa Bungoma nyinyi pia mnamtaji huyu kijana. Tukienda katika uchaguzi ujao mimi najua ya kwamba kila mtu ambao wako hapa leo watapigia kura bwana wangamati. Makofi basi. Just a brief eye view. 
of what he has done. I've been in politics for a long time. These are kids as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Lakini huyu kijana kazi ambaye amefanyia hawa jamaa katika Bungoma County hata mimi siwezi It is not easy under the circumstances under which we as governors are operating with very little money coming from the national government and it is given as if it is coming from a tiny little Fiji <laughs> without governor oparanya kama kiongozi wetu mtu ambaye amekomaa katika siasa tena ni deputy leader chama chetu cha ODM chama ambacho kitu kiko katika mtari wa mbele sana katika vyama vyote hapa Afrika Mimi najua ya kwamba tukifanya ni kazi na bwana oparanya tutafauli ingawa the situation is very difficult You saw the other day for three months, the Senate was not giving us a penny to provide health like Governor Wang Bangama Mati has done, to give people salaries. I've seen he has raised the, the salaries of the basic workers in the health sectors, the community health workers. That comes from the budget of Bungoma County, not anybody else, no donor. And therefore, I want to tell the people of Kenya, we are here on a very important day to showcase what a governor can do under very difficult circumstances. Makofi kwa kebasi! Aya buwana yesu wa sifiwe! Asante ni sana. Aya, 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 aya. Wacha ni walete governor Oronyanga po! yangu mheshimiwa governor wickliff mulisema ni wanyama ama 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 wafula <laughs> eh wangamati www. <laughs> eh mheshimiwa chief guest yuchin wa malwa uh, Mweshimiwa oparanya ambaye ni chairman ya council of governors Mulembe nation Mulembe Habari yenu Kwetu wanasema sepa kuwa kuwa Salamu kutoka the great county of West Pokot West Pokot lasema utoke hapa upitie transoya ukule maindi Ufike ma West Pokot ukunywe masiwa na damu. <laughs> Mnapokea salamu. Yeah. Mimi huwa sitoki boundary ya West Pokot. Lasma kuna jambo yenye imeleta hapa. I really do not walk around. You can take a tafuta West Pokot chini ya miti. Juu ya mawe. <laughs> Chunga mbusi na ngombe. Lakini nimekuja kwa ishara moja ati Bungoma County imebadilishwa na pesa ya devolution mpaka sikuisi barabara zenu za town na Sarasaf na nilikuja asubuhi nika tembea tembea humu humu unajua mimi na nyinyi ni moja hata kama nyinyi ni mulembe mimi pia ni mulembe by extension So nimekuja kuona na nimeshuhudia. Na nilikuja na team kubwa kutoka West Pokot, MCS na Samwakas kutoka kaundi ili tujionee 
tukirudi nyumbani jioni hii tuweze kuona how we can whatever we land from our neighbor kutoka Bungoma wapi watu wa Westport wasimame makofi ya bure ndugu <laughs> yangu senior professor nyangyo wamesema under tight and difficult circumstances devolution is working we can see the fruits na wiki hii jana ilikuwa climax i think the man who was on the hot soup for no reason for two days free was our chairman of paraja and everybody in senate was fighting him <laughs> and we talked with anyangyongo i don't know where the rain beat those guys we were better bwana you remember i was with you he said it but we didn't reach this level so i want to uh, wish you well the people of bungoma and to say although you are in bungoma county neighboring uganda you are still kenyans <laughs> <laughs> you are the same as us we border uganda but i want us to develop bungoma under the leadership of his excellency wangamati and when bungoma is developed equally like kakameka all the way to lodwa to mombasa kenya which is steered by the president of the republic of kenya uru kenyatta assisted by kina yujin wamalwa here will shine our country will shine so whatever you do just know every little bit you add is going to be seen i know we have had a problem everybody is putting on a mask uh, and that thing must not be seen in kenya again <laughs> and <laughs> wherever it came from <laughs> it must go <laughs> so that our economy can peak but the economy is not money you don't pick it you have to work hard i have seen miwa along the road i have seen nebia grass which means there, is, there are some cows here <laughs> and a lot of milk i pass kimbilili uh, jwele and there is a very famous market for cows meat choice meat you people eat a lot of meat from here do you know where those cows from come from they come from west pokot <laughs> every thursday friday saturday lorries come here so we want to improve we have also improved west pokot such that we will be bringing you meat no longer hope no more hope hoofs and the horn is coming here we retain them because we are developing our our mechanized slaughterhouse so i want to thank my brother and say thank you for inviting us we have learned a lesson here ecd teachers where are you i've also seen i will bring my ecd teachers here to come and pay mark maybe their salary will be better Thank you and God bless. Hebu pigia Professor Makofi. Waacha niite rafiki yangu Otichiro ambaye ni governor wa Vihiga. Yeye amekuja alikuwa na function nyingine. Pigia Otichiro Makofi tafadhali. Basi watu wetu wa Bungoma mrembe mrembe khandi hamjambo leo ni siku kubwa kwa watu wa Bungoma na wakati nime, wakati niliingia hapa nilishangaa nikashangaa kwamba niko at the right place ama nimepotea I can tell you you have a governor and a half <laughs> Sidhani tuko na governor yoyote Kenya mzima ambaye amefanya yale naona hapa leo Sisi kama governors wengine 
assembly kwa watu wachache lakini hapa naona kweli hapa bungoma public participation is working na mimi nimejifunja kwamba nikirudi vihiga lazima nitakuja hapa kujifundisha na lazima nitaleta watu wa vihiga hapa waone kwamba nyinyi watu wa mpaka labda iko kitu mnaelewa zaidi ambao hatuelewi lakini naona kwamba nyinyi mnaongoza for the three years governor wenu amekuwa kwa uongozi nimeshangaa yale amefanya he has done a lot a lot and he medibitisha kwamba devolution is working and we must fight for devolution You can imagine kama ile pesa kama kweli itakuja next year itapat, itapeanwa kwa watu wenu wa, wa Bungoma you can imagine what your governor is going to do Kwa hivyo sisi kama kinds of governors tunataka pesa nyingi ikuje mashinani And that's why we are supporting BBI. Tuta support BBI kama pesa itakuja mashinani. Na tayari wameanza kuonyesha kwamba lazima pesa ikuje mashinani. Na nataka kuchukua nafasi hii ku congratulate chairman wetu wa Council of Governors. Wycliffe Oparanya Ambesa Ye ni mwanaume hata pikie makofi Alisimama imara na akasema liwe liwalo lazima tusimame kama council of governors alitusiwa kwa senate lakini hakuogopa alisema ataendelea na atakasema kwamba tutafunga counties na kweli jana tulikuwa tumefunga na, na baada ya kufunga mnaona kwamba hiyo formula ambayo ikiwa kitu rahisi ikatokea tu haraka sasa ni kitu gani kingine wameongeza hapo hakuna kitu Hakuna kitu kingine na hiyo ndiyo tulikuwa na tunasema kama council of governors na hakuna kichochote walikuwa nafanya. Kwa hivyo kama hatungekuwa na governor chairman ambao uko na msimamo saa hii tungekuwa bado tunapika kelele. So paranya sisi tuko nao na wewe kama wa chairman na usimame hivyo hivyo. Pia nataka kusema kwamba our CS wa devolution has been with us and is supporting devolution he has been with us and therefore we want to say he is an ally of devolution na kwa hivyo tutakuwa na yeye mwisho watu wa bungoma kama huyo kijana wenu governor amefanya haya in such a short time mtamwacha mtamwacha kwani mtatua na, mtakuwa natafuta nini nilikuwa hapa some six months ago wakati pia tulikuwa na sherehe kubwa ya scholarship ya, wat, ya, ya watoto kwenda secondary schools tena tulikuwa na sherehe kubwa na wakati nilikuwa hapa nikaona ai hii ndiyo njia rahisi ya kupata kura. <laughs> Wakati nilitoka hapa hata mimi nilienda nikaanzisha governor scholarship program. <laughs> And I 
can tell you. Hiyo scholarship program mimi nilianza na watoto 125 but I'm very popular now in the county. Sasa tena nimekuja hapa nimesikia tena CHVs wako kwa mshahara mzuri. Kwa hivyo Pia nimeambiwa kwamba ECD teachers hapa wanapata kitu mzuri. Nikirudi tena vihiga ECD teachers lazima nikae nao. Kwa hivyo kwa mwi... kwa kumalizia naweza sema kwamba Wycliffe Wangamati you have done good job na uendelee na hiyo kazi. Mungu ambariki. Hebu pigia governor Otichilo Makofi. We are running fast, we are live. I think we have about 15 minutes. Alafu we go off uh, KTN and I want the chief guest. Okay. Now let me take this opportunity niite governor Ngwae who is also vice chair Elreb. Elreb ni makaunti 14. Pia ni governor wa Jimbo la Kisi. Makofi kwake. My brother My brother Governor Wangamati the governor of this great county of Bungoma Excellency Caroline Wangamati, my chair, Ambesa Oparanya, the governor of Bungoma, the governor of Kakamega, that's how much we get confused, the governor of Kakamega, the chair of the Council of Governors, the chair of the Lake Region, Economic Front and the Deputy Chair of my party ODM Honorable Eugene Wamalwa Honorable Lonyangapuo Excellency Excellency Nyongo the Deputy Governor's present the area MP wa Fula wa Munyinyi and uh, all the MPs present My brothers and sisters from Bungoma Mulembe Mulembe Muno uh, thank you very much chief guest CS you remember when you came to Kisi we gave you a name we called you Matoke I don't know whether you remember we gave you a name and we told you next time when you come there you are not coming there as Jinwa Malwa who you are coming there as Mr. Matoke. Mr. Matoke, I'm in your great county and your governor who is a great friend of mine in the Council of Governors we work together. On my right I saw the teachers. You teachers especially Kupet. Some of you are young. But about uh, more than 16 years ago Kupet was born here. I'm not sure whether you know that. But Kupet was born here in Kakamega, in Bungoma, sorry, and I was central to his formation at that time. Because I used to be the Secretary of Teacher Service Commission. So I was very happy when I saw you people. I salute you the people of Bungoma na wasalimia. Nimeleta salamu kutoka kwetu kisi. Aba kusii wamewasalimia na mimi nimekuja hapa kusikia huyu kijana yenu governor amefanya nini governor i'm very very happy about the state of your devolution address for this county and i want to tell you that we support you and that's why i came here devolution is now eight years old but in three years 
you've done a lot of development. What can one ask apart from giving you more time so that your thoughts and aspirations can actually be implemented? Na kuombea na hao watu wetu wa Bungoma ninaomba kwamba wakuangalie vizuri. Nimeona mzee yuko hapa mzee bado yuko na nguvu, mama yuko na nguvu. Tunakuombea mazuri. As a second term governor, we've now been there for almost eight years. We share with you experiences. What you are doing is what you are supposed to be doing and continue doing it. And make very, very sure that you keep good friendship with the members of the county assembly. It is through that friendship that you will be able to achieve your aspirations so that you don't have unnecessary fights. Because if you have any fight that takes away six months, and then you lose another, six ma another three months because money has come late, then you realize that actually you end up having only three months for development. So, ndugu yangu, because of time, jua tu kwamba nimetoka kisi, na nimekuja hapa nikileta salamu ya wakisi, na ukuambia kwamba huko kwetu, tuko na watu kutoka central province ambao wameishi, kutoka hapa western province ambao wanaishi huko, hata wako na sub-location. You should know that. So asante sana Mulembe Nation we wish you the best thank you very much Thank you very much Governor Ngwai before ni let chairman wangu I also just want to weigh in that um, at the gas of governors I'm also the chair of finance the committee of finance of the council of governors and um, I also just want to appreciate our governor of council of governors for standing firm and being in a position to say no to any intimidation from the Senate. Chairman, as governors of the council of governors, we want to say we are very proud of you. And we want to say that we do support you 110%. I know yesterday the Senate was able to pass the distribution of resources across the counties. And using that formula and also as a result of the decision that was taken by His Excellency the President to increase the amount for next financial year by about 50 billion Kenya shillings, we in Bungoma in the next financial year will be getting an addition of about 1.8 billion shillings. I stand here and to say to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya to say as the Chair of Finance and as Governor of Bungoma County, we want to say thank you for the leadership you showed to increase the allocation to counties by about 50 billion Kenya shillings. And I think that is one thing that went a long way in ensuring that the stalemate is resolved. So we want to say to the president that we are behind you and we hope that in the next financial year we get the additional 50 billion shillings and that will tell, I mean, that will translate to about 1.8 billion shillings for the people of Bungoma. Otherwise, thank you. Let me take this opportunity to welcome the chair of Council of Governors, who is also the governor of Kakamega. Ndugu yangu, Wycliffe Wangamati, CS, Devolution, pia ndugu yangu, Eugene Wamalwa, Magovernance ambao wamekuja hapa siku ya leo, Governor wa Kisumu, 
governor wa Kisi na governor wa West Pokot na pia governor wa Vihiga na deputy governors members of parliament who are here na MCS who are here ladies and gentlemen hamjambo hamjambo sana mimi nina furaha kuwa hapa na nyinyi siku ya leo na vile mnajua mimi ni mtoto wa hapa kila saa mimi huwa hapa bungoma saa zingine hata nikija hapa bungoma siambii weekly vwangamati niko bungoma kwa sababu hapa ni nyumbani leo limekuja na MCA kutoka Kakamega sujua maketi wapi wengi ndio hao Hao ni MCA kutoka Kakamega na wananchi kadhaa Vile mnajua kama mandugu zangu na dada zangu mimi kwangu ni karibu hapa Nikitoka hapa takika tano niko nyumbani lakini kwa sababu hii ni county nataka ni mshukuru sana ni ambayo amefanya kwa hizi miaka tatu under three years kwa sababu ukiingia kwa ofisi yeye alikuwa mgeni unajukua karibu miezi sita kuform cabinet na mambo mengi So this is less than three years. He has achieved a lot in this county. And as you know, Wangamati here is one of my best friends. We are always together, and there are quite a number of issues that we share together. Na unajua mimi nimekuwa huko miaka mingi basi sangine na mwambia pitia hapa fanya hivi fanya hivi Ndiyo aweke msingi kamili katika kaunti hii Lakini ya muhimu kabisa na nyinyi wananchi kuwa na yeye karibu because without support from the people Without support from elected leaders, whichever sector, you cannot achieve what he achieved in less than two years. More so in education, what he has achieved in education. The other day, we were talking about ECT teachers. Nakasema ya kwa nakaribu, mianane miatisa. Nakasema na mimi sasa ni kwa na elifumbili miatana. Kule kakameka. Ado kiongreza elefu moja peke yake Unajua vile budget itakua Those are some of the challenges That we are facing As a devolution family But all in all We have been together And I'm happy to say That I have been able to travel In most counties in this country And we'll find one thing or the other That what other county is doing better than the other. There is a learning process in the entire country as you move around the counties. So, muangalie huyu kijana wangu. Muangalie kabisa. You know, mkinja mlasema, oh, we are ende miakatano, mweke mungine, mula lose network kidogo. Iyo Iye miezi sita ambao Uye mgena anaingia na wezi kuformu kabinet Mukichakua yeye Anaingia na siku hiyo hiyo Anaendelea na kazi Kwa hivyo My brother Angamata I want to assure you Na nina watu wangu wengi Kutoka kakameka ambao Anaishi hapa bungoma Kutakuja hapa nione na kampenia na kampenia wewe 
hao watu wangu ambao wako hapa kwa sababu mimi na uwezo kwa hao tu peke yake kuambia wakupigie ku kura na wewe mwenyewe utafute kwa hao wako I want to thank my colleagues I want to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues for standing together during this time that we have had a stalemate at the Senate. It has taken three months without money flowing from the Treasury to county governments. And this has been a very bad experience. But this has not been the first time. Every time we move from one financial year to the other, we still have the same problem. And it's good I compared notes with my colleague Anyang Nyong, Professor and Professor Onanyangapuo, because both of them have been senators. And what they said, this is a unique Senate. Wengi wao waninitusi lakini nimewapa msamaha. Nimesema hayo yote wamesema has made me even more stronger. And I will not be afraid of discharging my duty because muta ameongea. Mimi nitafanya kazi bila mnanipa hiyo kazi mpaka mwisho wakati mula wangu utafika nasema bas nimefanya kazi yangu kwa hiyo miaka mbili ambayo mmenipa nafasi now since the statement is over we now direct that the cs treasury and the control of budget should release money to county governments immediately because I know most Kenyans working in counties have suffered during these three months that we have a stalemate. Also, after consultation, we have now lifted the close down that we had, that we announced two, two days ago. Sasa counties inaweza kuendelea na kaza. Peke yake ndio imefunga maofisi. Silikuwa more than three quarters. Hata walisema kakamega ijafunga. Sujui nani huyu alikuwa anasema kakamega ijafunga na mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa kakamega. To supervise the closing. But I want also to thank the president and the ODM party leader for coming together to make sure that this statement is resolved as quick as possible. It is their involvement that expertise the resolving of the of, of the statement na nyinyi sasa kazi yenu ni ku support huyu ndugu yangu aendelee mbele na mimi nataka nikitoka huko kakamega nikiwa mahali pengine paka niwe na rafiki yangu ambaye ni gavana mimi yeye no tichiro ambaye yuko hapa na nyang nyong unajua nikitoka Nairobi mpaka nichukue kule kwa nyang nyong the ones that are here i want to wish them all all every success that they are reelected during the next election and i know all of them are doing very well in their counties despite these problems ni saa hii kwa sababu Pesa sinataka sije kwa county hatutaki kusikia sasa ni ifmis imefungwa ifmis imefunguliwa ni kama mnapewa hewa kidogo imefungwa kidogo imefunguliwa
Unajua these are the small things that kill devolution. Otherwise, watu wa Mbungoma thank you very much for being together and supporting my brother here uh, Wikileaf Wangamati. Asante. Um, now I take this opportunity to invite our chief guest who is also the cabinet secretary minister of devolution Akuja onge na watu wake baadaye nitarudi ni invite deputy governor Akuje I introduce deputy governors alafu wabunge twende mbele karibu sana makofi kwa Eugene Wamalwa Uh, thank you very much, Your Excellency Governor Wycliffe Wangamati, Governor Wajimbo Labungoma, His Excellency Governor Wycliffe Oparanya, the Chair COG, Excellencies Governors of Kisumu County, my good friend Professor Peter Nyangnyong. Excellency Governor West Pokot County and my good neighbor Professor Lonyangapo Excellency Governor for Kisi County Governor Ungwai Excellency Deputy Governors and all those who are here with us today the First Lady of Bungoma County my Mulamua Nalonja Honorable members of parliament, led by the area member of parliament, Muheshmiwa Awa Munyinyi, Nilizkia Mukimuita party leader, they say when you go to Rome, you do as the Romans do. Honorable party leader, Bana Awa Munyinyi. The honorable members of parliament who are here with us, former members of parliament who are also here with us, Akiwemo Mzewetu Patrick Wangamati, Ambai Ndio Mwenye Kiti Waluya Council of Elders, Napia Mzazi Wa Governor Wetu Wabungoma, Akiwa na Mama Wetu Akiwa Hapa. Weshmiwa MCS, wakiwemo speakers wetu, wakiwemo majority leaders ambao metoka counties mbali mbali, wakiwemo pia MCS kutoka kule Transoya. Viongozi wa serikali kuu walio hapa, wakiwemo county commissioner wetu mpia ambayo meingia bungoma na tunakukaribisha sana, pamoja na madisisi wetu, machiefs wote walio hapa, viongozi wa serikali ya county ya bungoma, wakiwemo mawaziri wa county na wale wengine wote wanawasaidia kazi viongozi wa makanisa viongozi wote walio hapa na wasalimu bwana asifiwe mrembe mrembe swa mrembe te mrembe mia muri moyo mweko ele bakeni mweko ele governor wefu wangamati Mwehoele airport card yewe mende hiyo Kwanza ningependa ni walete salamu za mwishmiwa rais uhuru mwigai kenyata Mwishmiwa rais hame nituma na salamu zake Tumezungumuza siku ya jana nika mweleza tutakuwa hapa na governor wangamati ambaye ametualika na amealika viongozi kutoka counties mbalimbali mbali, kusherekea ugatuzi na ni sio tu ugatuzi katika county hii ya Bungoma lakini pia ugatuzi katika taifa letu la Kenya baada ya miaka nane ya ugatuzi we have every reason to celebrate today here in Bungoma because it has been a transformative journey
we particularly to celebrate the 17th of September. Yesterday is a day that will go down in the history of devolution because we were facing a stalemate over the formula that has been a major point of contention in our Senate. And that has taken us a very long time to resolve. We also had a threat from our governors, from the COG chair, we to get a shutdown of services in God that because of the intervention of His Excellency the President, we have been that would have been a massive disruption of services in our counties and that would have been a blot on our history of devolution that is now eight years and when we are also celebrating 10 years of the 2010 constitution that gave us devolution. Na nataka ni mshukuru sana mwishmiwa rais na kile kikao kilichokuwa kule kwenye ikulu ni mshukuru pia Prime Minister Raila Odinga na team ya leadership ya Senate na vile vile magava na wetu kupitia chairman wao bwana Oparanya kuweza kukaa pamoja and in the words of prophet Isaiah who said come let us reason together they were able to do this and with the additional was given a lifeline and they ably discharged their mandate yesterday very grateful and we are here to celebrate that also but uh, even as we celebrate the resolution of the stalemate what we saw was actually a very ugly confrontation between the COG and the Senate Ndugu yetu opara nyapole sana wewe ndio ulipata matusi mengi sana sababu ya msimamo wako In fact I was a bit surprised to see the debate that took place in our Senate and the level out of an august house I heard them call Oparanya a gangster. Walisema huyu jamani jamu. I heard some of them say Oparanya is the most useless chairman of COG. I heard one say he was the most useless minister. Tukusikia Ungoma because that does not change your record. Sisi tunakujua. I served with you as a minister in the previous government. When you are minister for planning, you are one of the best ministers for planning after Professor Peter Anyangyong. This country will remember you for the Vision 2030. You are there when the Vision 2030 was passed. So if someone says you are a useless Minister for Planning, maybe he does not understand our history. Let him go and read the Vision 2030 and he'll understand Oparanya was not a useless Minister for Planning. Peter Nyangnyong was one of the best Ministers for Planning. And we take pride in people who have shaped the history and the future of our country. When it comes to him as chair COG, as minister for devolution, I work very closely with the governors. Intergovernmental relations is a very important pillar of devolution. And that is why we must have governors working closely with the national government. 
the two levels of government must work together in consultation, in cooperation, in collaboration, in the spirit of Article 6 of our Constitution. And since Governor Oparanya took over, I can tell you today, intergovernmental relations at the best level ever. And for this, we congratulate him for his leadership. Now, Leo, Nisiku, Yanduguyetu, Wangamati. Wanasiasa wetu, wabunge wetu. We can disagree without being disagreeable. But insults can never resolve anything. Leo tuko hapa kusherekea maendeleo kutokana na mfumo mpya wa ugatuzi tuliopewa na katiba yetu mpya. Na kile wa Kenya wanataka ni maendeleo. Wa Kenya hawataki matusi kutoka kwa viongozi kuelekezwa kwa viongozi wengine. Wanataka tuje pamoja, tufanye kazi pamoja, wapate maendeleo katika kaunti zao ambao wanaishi. Na hapo ndio mimi leo nikiwa hapa na furai sana kumpongeza governor Wangamati. But I must also confess mimi si kumsupport yeye alikuwa mrengo wa NASA. Yeye ndio alikuwa akiniona bungoma anapandwa na pressure anasema NASA wa Malwa. NASA Eugene. Sababu candidate wangu mimi nikiongoza team ya Jubilee alikuwa Ken Lusaka. Yeye ndiye alikuwa gavana wenu wa kwanza na leo I'm very very happy that your governor Wycliffe Wangamati is a leader who has exhibited maturity and sobriety in his leadership. Na tumeona aki acknowledge hapa mchango wa speaker Lusaka as your first governor of Bungoma County. I salute also those who worked with him to lay the foundation for this county. And we take pride ya kwamba we have continued working together kwa mambo ya maendeleo. Kuna miradi tulianzisha hapa na Ken Lusaka kiwa governor wenu. Hasua muradi ule wa barabara kutoka brigadia kuja misiho. Leo kwa scorecard yake amase he took over wakati hiyo barabara tulikuwa tumeanzisha kule brigadia amesukuma hadi na itiri na nimekuwa huko juzi na mbunge wa area hiyo simi USL So leo tukija hapa sio tu kusherekea but I also come here as a witness to the achievements of this governor whose record speaks for itself na leo tuna, tu, pia tunataka tuhakishie vile tumekuwa juzi hapa na CS wa barabara masharia nataka niwahakishie wale wametoka Tongaren najua mambo ya serikali yanaenda pole pole kidogo kulikuwa na contract ile ya county government wafanye nusu ya hiyo barabara milioni karibu 500 kufikisha na itiri contract ya pili ni ya national government na tumesikizana na governor Wangamati na CS Masharia ya kwamba sasa lazima tuwe na contract mpya to take over as national government hiyo barabara kutoka na itiri tuisukume hadi pale misio so your excellency i want to assure you and as i bring you greetings from my brother CS Masharia he has confirmed Atafanya kazi na wewe tuhakikishe hiyo barabara imekamilika na lami imefika misio. Na sio hiyo tu kwa mambo ya maji. Wakati nilikuwa waziri wa maji tulizindua pia miradi kadhaa ya maji hapa. Kiwemo mradi wa Koika 1 ambao unatoa maji kule Terem juu Mount Elgon inaingia Chwele, Mkoya inaenda hadi Sikati huo mradi umekamilika lakini mradi wa pili phase 2 ya hiyo ambayo governor amewaeleza iko tayari to be launched 
Waziri mwenzangu wa maji Bisisi Likariuki pia amenituma na salamu kukuhakishia atakuja hapa kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka ili pamoja tuweze kuzindua huo mradi utakaoleta maji kutoka mlima Elgon hadi Mayanja hadi hapa Kibabi University maji hayo yaingie muji wa Bungoma that I want to assure you vile vile mradi wa pili ambao waziri wa maji amesema ni ule wa mlima Elgon the great mount Elgon Bungoma Busia huo mradi pia tayari uko unaanza na tutashirikiana na serikali yako kuhakikisha tunateremsha maji watu wa Mount Elgon wanywe maji juu watu wa Sirisia watu wa Bumula tuingie kule Teso North tuingie Teso South tuingie hadi kule Nambale vaha yao wose wanywe maji yako mwisho pia kuna mradi mkubwa ambao gavana wenu amekuwa na sukuma sana na mawaziri tukiwa na waziri Matiangi tukiwa na waziri e, karibu watano tumekubaliana huo mradi wa Bungoma Kakamega Bulk Water tutatoa maji pale na Buyole Falls tusukume hadi mlima wa Chimoi tukiwatilia maji hayo watu wa Kandui mtakunywa maji hadi Bumula watu wa Webuya watakunywa maji hayo watu wa Malava watu wa Kakamega So leo tunasherekea uhusiano mwema kati ya serikali kuu na serikali ya kaunti ya Bungoma. Na ni kuhakikishia ya kwamba tutaendelea na hiyo kazi so that we deliver together. Pia tuko na miradi kwa mambo ya afya. One of the most important functions ever devolved by the 2010 constitution is the health function tukiwa tunakabiliana na huyu adui anaitwa corona counties zina majukumu mazito sana na leo tukitoa report card ya governor wenu in the health sector he has scored very very highly i can assure you today na pia kutoka kwa serikali kuu kupitia wizara yangu tuko na ule mpango wa Kenya Devolution Support Program ameuguzia hapa tayari tulikuwa tumetoa karibu milioni mia tatu we have more money coming and your excellency governor i want to assure you that the tranche ya 4.6 billion ambayo ilikuwa inatoka kwa KDSP part of that money inakuja hapa Bungoma vile kara imepitishwa hiyo pesa tunataka iingie na itasaidia ule mradi governor wenu ameguzia wa 300 bed maternity wing katika hospitali ya refaro hapa bungoma so we are very very proud to associate ourselves as national government with the success of the bungoma county government particularly in the health sector vile vile tuko na mpango wa sustainable urban economic development program swear huyu governor wenu mkimwona hayuko bungoma msikue mnauliza pia tushikane na yeye kando na zile pesa mnapata directly kuna pesa ambazo lazima enda winde pia na i can tell you today muko na kiongozi shupavu mtetezi shupavu sababu tulikuwa na counties karibu kumi zilizokuwa zinapata pesa kutoka Uingereza swear na tulikuwa karibu kukosa hizo pesa lakini governor wenu alikuja na akafuata na tukasukuma hadi hizo pesa under the swear program ziko zinakuja hapa bungoma shilingi bilioni moja additional hizi pesa ilikuwa kwa budget hii ni pesa governor wenu and I must give him credit sababu alipigana alifuata akawinda with 1 billion coming to bungoma 
we are soon going to transform me Bungoma kutoka kuwa town ikuwe a city kama ya professor Nya na ndio sababu lazima nishukuru wa MCS our county assembly of Bungoma without your support the governor cannot achieve what he has achieved we want to thank the speaker, the majority leader, all our MCAs of Bungoma County. It is through your cooperation, your support, that to na celebrate leo, zile hatua tumeona kupitia ugatuzi. Kazi ya serikali ya governor wen. But there is one very challenging one. Sababu mini mesikia watu wanapiga vita sana, iyo barabara inayo ingia kwa muji wa Bungoma. I can tell you part of the consideration hii bilioni inakuja ni planning ya muji without hiyo barabara bungoma is choked ni kama mtu ambaye ile moyo wake umefungana it's clogged we must open bungoma so that we have the artery to bring in more oxygen to make bungoma a city it must be a properly planned city so i know Governor, this has been a tough one. I know me pigwa vita kwa hiyo kitu, but one day, when Bungoma becomes a city, when investors come and we have a dual carriageway through Bungoma town, when we are able to do away with traffic jams in Bungoma town, that will be one legacy who you governor weekly Fuangamachi will be remembered for. Please let us work together. As national government, we support that project ni project ilikuja kwa cabinet na governor alikuja tukakaa naye before tufanye transfer of functions na governor sonko nairobi bungoma you are amongst the first counties to lifanya hiyo transfer of function and we are going to support that project and all infrastructure projects ziweze kukamilika including zile barabara tumetembelea juzi ile natoka msikoma kwenda hadi buyofu mungati tulikuwa huko juzi na waziri tukapata contractors wa zembe na waziri akasema we are replacing all those contractors we have a subcontractor who is doing very well ile barabara inaenda mateka inaenda mateka huyo contractor governor we want to see more such contractors completing our roads kama kuna yeyote amezembea mtuambie tumutoe ili tupate yule atakuja akamilishe hizo barabara so sitaki ni wachoshe I just want to say I'm very, very happy to be part of this day that is celebrating devolution and the success of devolution in our county. For our governors, najua sasa tumekuwa tunatumia benchmarking kama one way ya kuenda kule ngambo kuangalia maneno. Kuenda Europa, kuenda America na kuingine. What we are doing here today is benchmarking badala ya sisi kupanda ndege kwenda europa tumie pesa mingi kuja bungoma tuone what devolution is doing in bungoma because governor titula amekuja hapa ecd teachers vihiga watafaidika vile ecd teachers wa bungoma wafaidika sababu amekuja hapa wale watoto yatima ambao hawakuwa na ile program ya bursary kama ile iko hapa bungoma he has benchmarked and already ameanzisha a similar governor's kitty watoto waweze kusoma governor wangamati as i conclude i must salute you ile project program ulianzisha ya kusaidia watoto wasome will be part of your legacy actually nelson mandela once said education is the main equalizer the ultimate equalizer it is what can make a child of a peasant become a doctor. It is what can make a child of a mine worker become the head of the mine. It is through education. So we would like to see for the governors who have come to Bungoma today. Please borrow a leaf from Governor Wycliffe Wangamati. Go back home, go back to West Pokot, go to Turkana, go to Kisi and let us see more children being empowered from poor families being given opportunities to realize their god-given potential the way weekly fungamati has done 
So sitaki niseme mengi nataka ni e, wachie hapo na niseme pia kwa mambo ya the youth. We are happy with the empowerment programs that you are carrying out for our youth in this county. Stadium ya Muliro, Masinde Muliro, we know that the best stadium in Western Kenya ni ile ya Oparanya sasa. Lakini Oparanya uchunge namba hiyo kabisa sababu what Wanga Match is doing here ikikamilika Bungoma might be the best stadium we have ever seen. We also want to see apart from Masinde Muliro Stadium ya hapa Bungoma ile high altitude training center Mlima Elgon that is a very unique project nakumbuka tukianzisha mradi huo tukiwa na uh, former governor Lusaka i'm very happy to hear amongst your scorecard you have taken over you are completing and very soon we'll be open, we'll be able to open that facility we have talents katika county hii and i know that juzi Tumemzika one of the Olympic champions Ben Gipcho ambaye alienda kule Olympic Nitaomba kwa utaratibu sana Governor Wangamachi We know that Ben Gipcho was doing a lot to ensure the success of that high altitude uh, facility in Mount Elgon In his honor because rarely do we have legends living amongst us if you complete that project and in honor of the late Olympic legend, you named it after Ben Gipcho, it will be a great mark and honor. Let the children of this county know that from the training up Mount Elgon, we can raise Olympic champions from Bungoma County who can go to the Olympics and bring us gold to Bungoma. Sababu min najua kwa mandago. Kwa Mandago ndiyo kule wanajita home of champions. Bungoma is also a home of champions. Ben Gipcho was one of us. So let me thank you and say asante ni sana. Najua bado kuna wengi wanataka kuongea na niombe sana governors wetu. What we are getting an additional 50 billion is the single biggest increment we have had coming to devolution. Ukiangalia from uh, 2015 just more than 10 billion so as we thank his excellency the president we also want to look at the bbi bbi i want to add because i see politicians here the centerpiece of bbi is devolution if devolution succeeds if devolution wins we all are winners Usiangalie hii BBI ufikirie ni ya Raila ama ya Ruto BBI is beyond 2022 BBI is a dream of an equitable prosperous Kenya We are talking 100 years to come if we can improve on our constitution bring more resources to the counties we'll see better results than what we are witnessing today through the county government of Bungoma led by Wangamati so nitaomba ya kwamba tukienda mbele let us not belittle the debate of BBI to personalities let us look at the issues look at how we can empower our counties empower our communities and empower our country asante ni sana mungu awabariki hongera governor wangamati na watu wa bungoma thank you very much asante sana Mheshimiwa Eugene Wamalwa I just want to re request that we just take another 20 30 minutes to angalia tu hiyo video kidogo alafu nitaleta deputy governor na party leader wa take over but just for your information uh, Mheshimiwa Eugene Waziri last Saturday nilikuwa kwa matanga kaptama na Mheshimiwa Kapondi and I announced there that a PA nominated the MCA to Likwa Nae Uko. Nanika announced Uko Mwishmiwa Waziri 
that when we complete the high altitude center in Kaptama, it will be named after Ben Chipcho. So that I have already announced na tulikuwa na mheshimiwa Kapondi siku hiyo. Uh, Moses just switch on that documentary run quickly so that afterwards then we can bring deputy governor na party leader wa Malizie. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. successful economy there is a story a life transforming journey that creates an avenue to greatness this is the transformative journey of Bungoma County a county whose leadership is working hard to cure the perennial challenge of poverty hunger improving the health service provision and to open up Bungoma's economic strength to the rest of the world County is home to beautiful landscapes, rolling scenic hills, jewel blue waterfalls, and a bouquet of tourism offerings with unique wildlife. Covering an estimated 2,069 square kilometers, Bungoma County is an economic hub strategically positioned as the gateway into Uganda as well as other eastern and central african countries this strategic positioning of bungoma is ideal for cross border trade with uganda and other countries on the northern corridor region including rwanda burundi and south sudan the county is administratively divided into 9 sub counties and 45 county assembly wards the 9 constituencies that also serve as sub counties include kandui bumula webuye east Webuye West, Kabuchai, Sirisia, Tongaren, Kimilili, and Mount Telgan. For more than 30 years, dreams of the majority of the common Mwananchi have collapsed. Lives have been shattered and residents left destitute, disposed, impoverished. In short, Bungoma's economy was traumatized and poverty remains king. I shall always truly immediately serve the people and the public of Kenya. In the office of the governor of Bungoma County. In the office of the governor of Bungoma County. So help me God. On August 21st, 2017, Governor Wickliffe for Fula Wangamati took oath of office making a commitment to serve God and man. As the second governor in charge, Wafula Wangamati committed to keep his fidelity to the law and work for the people of Bungoma. Today marks 
the end of celebrations of victory and the beginning of yet another chapter giving meaning to the conversations that I had with each one of you during the campaigns. I'm honored to stand before you aware of the magnitude of the task ahead. As we start on this assignment, we will need each other and I will need your support, but more importantly, I will need your goodwill and prayers as people of Bungoma. After three years in office, Bungoma is undoubtedly a county on the rise. The rising star of Magaribi and the new oasis of hope. In this journey of progress, Governor Wangamati is leading a team of leaders who are committed to change the narrative as they work towards transforming the county into a world-class economy while building a great future for the people of Bungoma. Through his transformation agenda, Governor Wangamati targets to alleviate poverty through education and business opportunities, rejuvenate the ailing health sector, open up Bungoma through infrastructural development, revive Bungoma's agricultural sector, provide clean, safe water for all, and to create opportunities for the youth through social economic programs. When the governor assumed office in August 2017, he inherited a workforce of 2,076 ECDE teachers who had been teaching for nine months without pay. I want to stand here today, Nakusema, without any fear of contradiction, Kuwa Munaenda Kulipua, Pesazeno Arasa, in Sarazeno Zote, by end of this month, April. This day has brought joy and change to all the ECD teachers in this county. Therefore, we thank God for our beloved governor, Mr. Sawasawa, weekly from Gamati, WW. We love him. We are really happy. We thank the governor. We don't have words. We just thank him and ask God to, to bless him. Initially, <laughs> Under the leadership of Governor Wangamati, the county continues to invest heavily in the three aspects that affect the education of our sons and daughters, student support, teacher compensation, and infrastructure development. Bungoma, unfortunately, it's been one of the major counties that the poverty level has been very high. And one of the main uh, strategy or intervention for us to be able to eradicate this poverty level, it's 
the level of education of our young ones. You know, if we take them to schools and then give them opportunities to explore the opportunities they can have. And that's why now His Excellence came up with this scholarship program uh, to, to invest in because we have very young people who are bright but need, they come from vulnerable families. These are the kids who can, going to be our next doctors, going to be our next engineers, uh, pilots, I will name it. But they cannot be able to achieve this objective because of the background they're coming from. So the, the, the line of poverty continues. They drop out of school, they continue being in that poverty cycle and it continues. We are located on average between 10 to 12 students per ward among the 45 wards in Bungoma County. I stand here and to give you an assurance as the governor of Bungoma County. That as a government of Bungoma County, it is our responsibility to ensure that you go up to the highest level of education that you aspire in your life. And I want to say that going forward, Chief Guest, our intention is next year with partnerships of the private sector, we want to move and be able to put on the program 1,000 students for the 2021 launch. <laughs> Na wanakumbuka na watasimama imara na wewe wakati utakapowadia wa wewe kuwakumbusha ya kwamba unataka kuendelea na kazi hii mzuri. Bora bora dalikan kutoka Crossroad. Aya. Jo tafadhali. Tueleze kwa kulikuwaje huko nyuma kukoje sasa. And what is the future? Bwana sasa sifiwe. Lakini <laughs> Lakini saizi, vile nimekuwa scholarship na governor, na sama tu ni asante, nilikuwa nikifukuza fees kila mara. Kwa sababu baba nguwa kuwa na juweza. Nafuraa kuu sana, kwa sababu mi mwenyewe si kusoma, mtoto wangu kama agasio governor, ainge soma, sasa tungekua wote masikini, governor amepea mtoto school fees, alinipea pesa, nikayenda, nikamfanya shopping, Kuna pesa yenye nimebaki nae na naenda kulipa uniform. Leo niko na furaha kwa sababu vile niko na join kadino nitasoma hadi form 4. Sita sitakuwa nikifukuza fees. Ukirudi uko mwambi. Nasema tu asante. Ati kiwezekana anifundishe hadi university. Alafu na promise kuwa card so that I can achieve my goals. Lakini nifurai, nilikuwa na fikiria hacho kwa mawasa wangu, nilikuwa na sema pengine hui mtu utatakatu nyumbani. Haki katika hiyo baraka hata nimeenda kama nimefurai, nimejisikia kwa mba mtu otu kesho anenda shulene haki. Na shukuru mungu ana muombea baraka mingi, haendeleo kwa na baraka nyingi. Na shukuru county government yangu ya bungoma kwa kwa wale tulipia school fees. Tumefika shule, tumeadmitiwa, nimefurai sana ku... Join my dream school. I promise kwamba ndatia bidi katika masome yangu. Na ashukuru sana mungu wa bari. Sana meet the shitanga Patriza kutoka Bungoma County. 
si wote ni beneficiaries wa scholarship ya governor wetu bwana weekly for flower and match by january 2020 a total of 1500 bright but needy students from bungoma county were in top flight national and extra county schools across the country thanks to the governor's scholarship fund currently 556 needy students are in form 1 458 in form 2 and 486 in form 3 in top schools in the country including alliance girls alliance boys kenya high pangani girls kapsabet boys lugulu girls friend school kamusinga saint mary's kibabi among other top flight institutions Governor Wangamati's commitment to education as a tool of empowerment goes even further. Through the Department of Education, he has started upgrading 10 vocational training centers into centers of excellence. The upgrade is aimed at improving the quality of technical skills training, increasing enrollment, as well as improving employability of trainees from these centers. Statistics say that almost 70% of our population in Bungoma are youth. And most of these youth are unemployed. And one of the reasons uh, it's because they lack the requisite skills for employment. Naito Jendrick Skoy, mekuwa wakela ha kwa miaka miwili, na wakela ha imebadilisha maisha yangu. Sae ni meza kufungua workshop yangu, nafanya kazi yangu, na saizi, na chitegemea mi mwenyewe, kwa kazi ambayo mi musomea. Healthcare in Bungoma County has suffered systemic underinvestment for years. Built in 1952, Bungoma County Referral Hospital, for instance, has seen little improvement since. Between 1952 and 2013, the county's main hospital had 216 beds. Between 2013 and 2017, the hospital was added 16 more beds in the pediatric ward. A facility that handled only a handful of patients back then now serves more than eight of them coming from as far as Busia, parts of Kakamega, as well as eastern Uganda. I've been working in this hospital since 1993. When I came to this hospital, our catchment area was small. We didn't have very high population. And in this maternity, we used to have like, uh, at our peak, we used to have like 250 mothers in a month. But you see, we have moved up to 600 mothers. And uh, the number has grown uh, to an extent that when you look at our space, uh, the space has remained the same. Like of today, we have 72 babies in the, on our NBU. It means we have 72 mothers who are not sick. These are mothers who we could have discharged home if their babies did not have problems. You can imagine like the Bungoma County Referral Hospital has one theater. That one theater is divided into two. And our theater is operational from Monday to Monday. Sometimes we get emergency cases here that really need to be taken to theater and you get another patient from a different Check one, two. You are, your Excellency at the CS, to make a teaser say more here. To Kuzungumza and the Deputy Governors, Your Excellency, with your permission, so that uh, the Deputy Governors can speak. Allow me, sir, to invite Professor Ngome to invite other Deputy Governors. Prof, please. Uh, Governor wa Jimbo la Bungoma ambaye ni mkubwa wangu Chief of Governors Honorable Oparanya Chief Guest wetu ambaye ni mtoto wetu kutoka sehemu hii 
Eugene mkubwa eh, gavana ongwae yuko hapa Dr. Tichilo yuko hapa Profesa Lonyangapua ambaye ni rafiki yangu kwa muda mrefu Profesa Asante kufika na pili leader wetu mheshimiwa Munyinyi Wiza co principal leo kuanzia leo mheshimiwa chairman wa kuanzia leo upeleke wa Munyinyi achukue hiyo kit ya co principal kuanzia leo tumesema akae huko kwa hiyo meza kama kuna kitu na MPs wote ambao wamefika na wenzangu Dr. Ukumbe na Tarus nataka muje tu msalimie kwa sababu wakubwa wetu wako wako hapa sisi hatutazungumza watu wa Bungoma habari zenu mpo simuni salame tu kwa hewa your excellency of Bungoma county governor wangamati i am here to represent my governor Cornel Amothrasanga governor he was supposed to be here but he got engagement so he sent me to come uh, I am also here to present his greetings and bless mepokea as I, I want to take this opportunity to join all the excellencies and deputy governors who are here governor wangamati for the good job that is done for the last three years and therefore we want to join him and we want to join hands with all the governors to support him. If we reach 2022, we are appealing to you because of the good job that he's been doing to give him another term so that he can continue with his legacy projects. Thank you. We are the deputy governor of Siaya, we are the deputy governor of Our chief guest today uh, Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalwa, Host Governor uh, Weekly Wangamati, COG Chair, all the governors present, Deputy Governors. Ningependa uh, kuleta salamu kutoka Tranzoya. Watu ya Bungoma muna pokea salamu kutoka Tranzoya. Munajua governors wale wawili Kenya mzima ambaye ni achama ya Ford Kenya ni Tranzoya na Bungoma. Sasa sa ile ndugu yako wako na sherehe si lazima uende kwa ndugu yako. When uh, your governor alikuwa anazindua scholarship program nilikuwa hapa ku represent governor Patrick Simiyu Kahemba. Leo pia tumekuja benchmarking vile kijana wetu Eugene kutoka Kitale pia nasikia mnasikia anatoka Bungoma sisi tunajua Eugene anatoka Kitale. Amesema tukuje benchmarking kama namna gani. So we have come to learn tumesikia maneno ya ECD teachers their salary Tumesikia manena ya scholarship uh, Governor Wangamati has talked about 1 billion from the coffee sector Sisi tuanzoya tunangangana kupanda coffee Lakini kumbe muka mbele If you are making 1 billion in one year from coffee Congratulations Bungoma Nasema asanteni sana Mungu wa bariki Our governor Wangamati Your future is bright Thank you and God bless you Nikimalizia Nikimalizia kitu kimoja tu Chief Guest amesema kitu kimoja na nirafiki yangu Ya kwamba 2017 Haku kuwa na support wa wanga mati Sijui kama mulisikia Mulisikia Unajua Eze ni sobe changu Sema 2022 Gavana wanga mati Hako tu na wewe Hizo kura lipatia KLM wakatu Anatoa kwa KLM na kuletea wewe Shangilia kidogo Unajua ye yanga luweza kusema hivo Lakini ya meninongozezea wewe sema Kama nimbaya nazema ngoma utoka angafu Kama nezura nazema nilimutuma Makofi tena Pili Hata kama gavana wanga mati Amefanya kazi kubwa I want to say this Watu usema Hazungumuzi vile amefanya Yani kuna siyasa ya kuku Kuku anataga ya imoja Lakini anatembea Kila mahali ya kifanya kwe kwe Kila hata jiriana juwe Kuku wa fulani anataga yae Hiyo ndiyo siyasa ilio kweku 
Mtu anataka ya moja na nitembea kila mahali kuku kuku huku kuku hata mtu ajue kuku ya fulani anataka kutaka yaye. Wangamati hana hiyo siasa ya kuku. Anataka mayai mengi lakini afanye kelele. Ninyi mfanyie kelele. Mwisho. Mwisho, halo Mwisho. Kuna mtu amekuwa anapokunywa pombe anasema wangamati ana implement project zake. Atie ndiye alipanga. Ah huwa ni ukweli kweli eh kuna mtu fulani sema ni nani lakini akinywa kama amelewa anasema haye huyu ana implement vitu vyangu yeye alifanya vyake akaenda wacha huyu naye afanye nini vyake mwisho mwisho a a sijasema mtu mwisho alo mwisho mwisho i'm a professor of education what what the governor is presenting ni majibu ya moku. Ni majibu ya moku. Hii ni moku. Na mtoto akipata moku, akipata B, mtu yani wenyewe anapata plain A. Sasa mimi sitaki nipite hapo, asande kwa kazi yote. Niambia kuanzia leo tusikae kwa kwa ofisi, tutembee kwa wananchi, tukimina watu. Asante sana. MCS from Transoya MCS from Transoya tafadhali eh, we have MCS from Transoya. also came with our MCS from Transoya thank you bas mimi sasa nafasi wa chama omwami eh, eh, simba ya bunano makofi kwake eh huyu ni coprispo <laughs> Thank you very much. Asante sana. And the Rwanda ni mbona kana bulai. Asante ni sana. Thank you very much. Mugeni wa Heshima Mheshimiwa Eugene na wageni wote mashuhuri. Nilikuwa hapa mwanzo nikakaribisha wageni nyumbani sasa nimekuja kwa kipindi ya kumalizia niko na wenzangu hapa nitawaleta waweze kuwasalimia kwa dakika chache chache tunajua mmechoka muda ni mfupi umebaki lakini kabla sijawaita nataka nichukue fursa wakati tunasherekea devolution katika kaunti ya Bungoma na kwa nchi yetu in general kufuatia yale tumeona siku ya leo wale hawako wanaona leo mumeona wale walikuwa hawasikii vizuri ni nini inafanyika leo nafikiri tumejionea na tukisherekea siku ya leo devolution pia tunakumbuka stalemet ile imekuwako kwa muda wa miezi mitatu katika senate hii yote imesungumuziwa na sitaki kurudia lakini niseme ni vizuri ni vema tumeweza ku unlock the stalemet katika senate na nataka kushukuru mheshimiwa Uparanya wakati alianza statement ya kusema counties tafunga tulikuwa na yeye hapa Kandui na ndio wakatoka hapo wakakuwa na mkutano wa governors wakapitisha resolution na hiyo tarehe uliweka tarehe saba ya ku lockdown counties zote ndio haya mambo yamekuwa resolved 
but jambo la kustajabisha ni kwamba formula haijabadilika na wale watu wa senate wale walikuwa na vikao mingi katika senate wakishindwa kuafikiana bila kitu yote kubadilishwa kwa hiyo formula lakini tunashukuru mheshimiwa rais kwa kuongeza pesa kukuja katika counties the more than 50 billion going to counties for devolution uamuzi uliofikiwa baada ya mheshimiwa rais consult former prime minister Raila Odinga na mheshimiwa Uparanya na viongozi wa senate kwa sababu ya hiyo tunatoa shukrani zetu kwake mimi sitakuwa na mambo mengi kwanza nipatie wenzangu wale wako hapa dakika chache chache wenyewe wakuje kwa dakika chache chache wasalimu kwa ufupi tu hatuko wengi sana taanza na mheshimiwa baraza Asante sana mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa Wikilifu Angamati Magavana wote ambao wako hapa wabunge wenzangu tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mimi vile vile nashukuru kwa yale maafikia na vile juzi sasa seneti imepitisha ule ile formula ya kugawa pesa sisi bunge la kitaifa tunangojea ule mswada siku ya Jumaine pia tupitishe we must always remember that the CS treasury has always delayed disbursement of funds to various counties and we will want to ask you bana ukuri ya tan that within the next few days he should begin to prepare vouchers to disperse funds to the counties he should not be the same person who will be importing his in incompetence from wherever he was to the national treasury nafikiri hiyo ndio ya muhimu kabisa lazima serikali yakishi ya kwamba haicheleweshi pesa ambayo inaenda kwa county and if ukuri ya tani then you can as well as be a candidate for impeachment because you is enjoy kwa hayo machache mungu awabariki sana hello hello tabadali ninawaomba nawaomba tuelewane tusikize viongozi jana kwa kona pale tabadali nawaomba muwe watulivu mheshimiwa Moses Mabonga Asante sana mheshimiwa mgeni wetu wa heshima CS Eugene Wamalwa of governor governor weekly for paranya ngoma your excellency is governor and ge wish ki watukufu kwa governor i will be very brief but vile nimeketi hapa kuna kitu nimesoma 
governor leadership is a calling from God and when you celebrate an achievement it's like looking into a mirror when you look into a mirror definitely you will see yourself but the psychologist will ask you what is self because umbwa ikiangalia kwa umbwa kwa kio itaona umbwa mwingine na itaanza kupweka lakini binadamu akiangalia kwa kio atachiona penye makosa yako na rekepishe na endelee mbele leo hivi when we were looking at the mirror of bungoma county we could see the tears of joy hongera bwana governor na ninataka kuambia wenzako hasa chairman mheshimiwa oparanya ya kwamba governors is to remain firm and have more resources come to the counties wale wamekutusi nilisikia hapa mmoja akisema the upper house i'm sure the told you because we want the resources back to the county na kama mheshimiwa governor chairman hiyo ndiyo BBI unatuletea ya kuleta resources kwa kaunti zetu leta mara moja tupitishe tulete mali hapa chini watu wafaidike because in this country katika taifa letu hii the possibility is very high kwa wale wasomaji wa biblia wanasema ya kwamba there will come a time probably we shall have a pharaoh who do not know anything about Joseph. The possibility is there that we can have even a president who doesn't respect the devolution. That is why we need to have the laws that protect our devolution. Sasa mheshimiwa sisi tuko hapa tumepewa nafasi na wananchi. We have no excuses. But in 2022 kila mtu ataonyesha kasi ambayo amefanyia wananchi Mimi nataka kuomba mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya pamoja na waziri wake wa treasury I sit on ICD ICT committee This thing called if miss I think it was professor my friend Longanyopo mwenye alisema This thing called if miss is a fraud in this country and we must abolish it if we don't improve on it because pesa wanaachilia wanakuambia if misi imefungwa by the time you get the money the year is over you've done nothing so ninataka kuuliza mheshimiwa oparanya you have our support as members of parliament to ensure ya kwamba devolution works so that the people who are the beneficiaries the local wananchi wale boda boda umeona chini wafurahie rasilimali katika taifa letu la Kenya Mheshimiwa wa mnyinyi Mheshimiwa party leader nimeambiwa wewe ni party leader You know You know I have a lot of respect to my senior wa mnyinyi Lakini mwanao papa na wenya huli yehima ukisa kumurwe kwanza oha ni khira huru anda ro mmejita wera ho chi gabiko mwesmiwa mwesmiwa dan wa nyama mwesmiwa dan wa nyama Uh, 
Cabinet Secretary Sieza Eugene Wamalwa, the Chairman of Governors Mweshimiwa Oparanya, the Hosting Governor Mweshimiwa Wycliffe, Professor Lonyangapo, I know today you have come here and you are not giving up any soon now. The deputy governors present, honorable members, honorable MCS, members of the public, I just want to say one thing as I sit down. Your Excellency, Honorable Wycliffe, I want to appreciate the invitation and that the wisdom you had to make sure that the public knows what you are doing is God-given. And my comment will just be on one thing. I want to appreciate you for the High Altitude Training Center in Mount Elgon and also appreciate you for the construction of the stadium, Kandui Stadium, that is going on. I want to say this without any fear of contradiction, that for the training institute in Mount Elgon to add value, kindly, and I want to plead with the MCAs of the Account Assembly of Bungoma, that in the supplementary budget, kindly let us have a three-star hotel so that it can add value and we can be able to have an A and A to actually see that we can get funds to maintain that facility. Because sometimes in this country, we can have good facilities opened and left for use, but the maintenance of the same becomes a problem and then in a few years, it becomes a shell and then it doesn't actually add value or give us the money and the effort that we have put in. So my plea to you members that allow us have a facility up there so that even the big people can have an opportunity to go and train up there because health training is good for all of us, not only for the youngsters. For the Kandui, Your Excellency, as you complete what is being done inside there, kindly put a tartan training outside the stadium for the public and for the residents of this county to access that facility. That way we will be able to add value on the same. Thank you and God bless you. Mwanye mabonga kula rekare kuha Menya za musu bisi ndiko Kama mera Kula nikira alwanda Bula inye kumu umukuliko Mekima luwaka ye bandu banyue Yani kama luwaka chaku ya bula Yese kachaku rundu kata Seko chaku fukiri la azi wefwe Omundu yes yes Oli musiam, pamo kuhole ngaba kuhole mabonga tawe. Se kujia kufugiri na kutawe. Se nenda kuhole ngo mami, mwezmi waka pondi, mwezmi waka pondi. Mara mabonga manje wa mukola kama kwani kwenye magani. Uh, Chief Guest, wetu siku ya leo, rafiki yangu waziri wa devolution, mwashimia Eugene Omalwa, Chairman wa Council of Governors, His Excellency Oparanya, na kumbuka tikiwa na ten Parliament, na likuwa nasema ya ni kijana wa Taylor, Oparanya. Our host siku ya leo, 
Gavana wetu mpendwa WW Angamate All governors present my colleagues members of parliament MCAs na delegates wot hamjambo Muriena Mlebaramu Ojamagei Abagiro Nasema hivyo Your Excellency is a look at that. Ziko kwangu kula Mount Elgon. Wasabot, wabukusu, na watesu. Na sisi ni kitu kimoja. Your Excellency, nigependa kusema kitu kimoja. Ama mbili. Ya kwa... Governor, si na mara ya pili. Na kumbuka wakati ulealika governors kwa mamba ya governor scholarship marafiki wako governors wengi walikuja hapa siku ya leo tena kwa midam report yako governors wengi wamekuja hapa hiyo ni dhihirisho ya kwamba kweli unapendwa na sisi kama wajumbe vile tumefika hapa ni dhihirisho wasi ya kwamba tunakupenda your excellency na yale umefanya imeonekana wasiwasi katika kanda ya video ingeendelea saidi hata wengine wangalia hapa machozi hata mimi nilikuwa nimeanza kusikia kwa sababu umeguza watoto wengi katika kaunti hii na ningependa kusema hivi hakuna siku tutakuwa na gavana mwenye na mpangilio mzuri kama gavana WW. Huyu ni gavana lazima tumshike mkono. Na gavana I'm giving you an assurance on behalf of Mount Elgon ya kwamba tutatembea pamoja, tutaingia kwa kila kijiji. Message yenye umetuambia hapa ifikie watu mashinani because what you have done is so much. Nitatafutia tatafutia tafautiana kidogo tu na rafiki yangu profesa Ngome. Hii mambo ya kuku. Eh atikiteka inaweka bweka. Your excellency what you have done lazima tuseme. Kwa sababu kuna wengine hawajafanya kitu lakini wanasema ati mnaangalia vile nilifanya. Kitu gani? Hakuna kitu. So mimi nasema kwa wale walikuweko na wale wanatamani hii kiti hamuna chenu kwa sababu tunasimama na WW Camp 2022 and we are prepared to work with you all the way because kwa mambo ya development umesawasisha kila sub county katika sehemu hii hakuna discrimination yoyote sisi wote tunasikia kama watoto wa nyumba moja. So your excellency shikilia hapo. Rafiki yangu Eugene ukisukuma mambo ya maji. Unajua mahali maji natoka pia. Unaanzia hapo alafu ikitaramuka. Kwa sababu sisi ni jamii moja tunatembea pamoja na tunataka kazi ya gavana ingare mahali popote. So kwa haya machache your excellency we are together thank you very much Mheshimiwa David Eseli Secretary General of FWE Mubunge wa Tongareni karibu eh uh, Eugene Cabinet Secretary Devolution His Excellency the Governor of uh, Kakamega who is who is also the chair of the Council of Governors. Your Excellencies, governors who are present, all protocols observed. 
Good afternoon. Mimi sitakuwa na mengi ila bila ila tu congratulate governor wa Bungoma for the work that you have done. In fact, they say that show me your friends and I'll know who you are. When I look at the galaxy of friends that you have brought to the high table, I know who you are. You are a good man. Because when I look from the extreme end, I see my friend, His Excellency Wilbur Otichilo, whom we were with in the, in the ninth and 10th parliament, a fine politician. When I look at His Excellency Lonyangapuo, I recall Your Excellency Lonyangapuo, you helped me build two footbridges in my constituency when you are the PS Public Works. I put a footbridge across River Nzoya to Lugari, another footbridge around Mabusi, serving a primary school. This is a very fine gentleman. That he could do that for me at that time, when I was the first time in parliament, was not easy. Then uh, when I look across, I see His Excellency Ongwai. Maybe he doesn't remember, but when he was in charge of uh, civil service transformation or whatever, whatever, you actually enabled me to set up several things in community constituency. Empowering the women, empowering the youth, I ended up having women circles and youth circles through your, your, your effort that time, through Emmanuel Lubembe, who was one of your junior officers. So you are actually in the right hands. And uh, Chairman of the Council of Governors, don't leave uh, Wycliffe, Shikae Mukono. He was a minister for planning. And in fact, why my CDF Kimilili performed very well was because we went for benchmarking in Butere when he was the, the MP then of Butere. And in fact, the, those who are on, the, on my CDF, some of them are now MCAs, some of them are whatever, whatever's. Mama Rose is there, Madam Joan is there, all those, we went with them to benchmark with weekly Ambesa Oparanya's CDF. And indeed, what we learned there has stood the test of time. So indeed, Eugene, you did well to bring all these people together. And Wycliffe, uh, your namesakes, stick together. I'm sure you'll get somewhere very soon. Another thing you should realize is, of the nine constituencies in Bungoma, today, six MPs were here. The three who are not here is because they are indisposed. They were unable to come here. Mweshmi wa Luke, but I've seen his wife here. Mweshmi wa Mukwe, he's unwell. Mweshmi wa Sambu, he's unwell. Others, the rest of us are here. That is a major statement. What we are saying is, when it comes to development, we must work together. We must work together. Then that way, we'll be able to get the development that we want. We don't want to oppose things just for the sake of it, just to be hard that you are opposing. No, we want to work together and ensure that our county gets development. And I would encourage you, Governor, one of these days, call us MPs together. We sit, because we also have CDF. We sit and see how best we can work together so we can enhance the development that's in, that's in, uh, that is in Bungoma County. I come from Tongarene. Tongarene constituency is an interesting constituency. It's a microcosm of Bungoma and a microcosm of Western and a microcosm of the whole of the country. In the sense that if you talk of clans of Bungoma, they are all settled in Tongarene. You cannot dare start clanism there. You will not get anywhere. Because the clans are all mixed there. When you talk of the sub-tribes of the Luya, they are all in Tongaren. If you talk of the tribes of Kenya, they are all in Tongaren. So I've seen all your officers here from the county. I beseech you, when you see a name from Tongaren, it might be a Kikuyu name, it might be a Luo name, it might be a, a, a whatever name, 
believe you me, those people come from Tongaren. Give them their rights as residents of Bungoma. Finally, I would like to say this. In my opinion, the Senate has failed. The Senate has failed spectacularly that they have had this formula for more than a year before they started debating it. More than three years. Than three years. They have had it, but they are not doing anything with it. Now this time, they started running with it because I must say, many of them were using it as an, as an extortion racket. It's a fact. They were using it as an extortion racket. So when you find someone like uh, Oparanya Senator Malala crying tears, don't be surprised. That man used to teach drama. He can cry. At the drop of a hat, he'll cry. And in the next minute, he'll laugh hilariously, just like an actor. So don't be surprised with such things. We would like to warn the Senate. These shenanigans, we don't want. You are supposed to be the custodians of devolution. But if you are going to behave like that and hurt our counties to the point where they are unable to pay salaries, we are not going to tolerate that. And in fact, if they continue that way, then if BBI indeed is going to come, we are going to see how to tinker with that Senate. We tinker with it so that we make it more responsive to Kenyans' needs. Especially the current Senate. The previous Senate was better. This current one, no, 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 no. We can't have uh, merchants of deceit pretending to be leaders in this country. It has to end. Finally, many of you have been asking me as a Secretary General, where are we? What I'm saying is, we finished everything. Somebody went to court. He went to the High Court. We objected. We said the High Court has got no jurisdiction. That is the ruling we are waiting for on 25th. Once we get that ruling, we'll know which way forward. But one thing I can assure you is this. This guy who has been there, he likes playing local football here in Bungoma. Every weekend, I think this is the only weekend he's not here in Bungoma. Other is always in local football here in Bungoma and Transoya. But from now on, we want Wamunyinyi as a party leader to play national football. To naenda kumpatia number. Siju to kumpatia number eight, which is a football national. Wacha ui jamana anacheza cheza hapa local. When we want him to play national, anacheza local. Anakoroka local. Yake ni kwisha. Asante ni sana mwenye zimungo wabari. Mwenye nengeku unyo na anupati leader. Secretary General Oscar Makubola na Malaka Amali. Inaje mambo ilikwisha. We don't want to keep talking about it. Ilikwisha. Tulimaliza uwe akakimbia kotini to seek protection. Lakini sisi tulimaliza yu mambo. Ile mebaki ni tukai chini tupange turudishe chama kwa heshma ile ilikuwa nayo irudie wananchi tutoe ukora ndani watu wasiumie kwa sababu ya uongozi mbaya kwa chama so mimi ni kuwaomba tu tufanye pamoja kwa sababu mambo ya chama hiyo we talk about it every day let's wait for 25th i think there's going to be a ruling next week on the 25th alafu nenya gore baba ndu befwe Kuele siye governor Wale hawako hapa Mmesikia David ya kisema Of all the nine MPs Six of us are here Na wale hawako hapa Is for good reasons Except wawili The count woman MP and the count senator Ndiyo hawako hapa kwa sababu mzuri Hawa wawili And we are warning them This nataka county yende mbele don't interfere with the running of the county every time you are here. Na mina nataka kushukuru viongozi wenzangu katika county assembly ya Bungoma. Nataka kwa shukuru for restoring peace and order in the assembly. Kwa kwa kikisha, tunakuja pamoja, bitina yondolewe, sit together with our governor. Kama hiko issues to resolve vizuri. 
alafu tuendelee kupata maendeleo kwa kaunti yetu na mheshimiwa governor continue building on what we have realized kazi ambayo itaonekana by the time tunafika huko mbele 22 i am very sure hakuna mtu atakuja kusimama hata wale wanaonyesha wanataka mambo mengine hawataweza kwa sababu ya muda niliona mheshimiwa Mrs. Waluke hapa na nikauliza lakini gavana akaniambia yeye ndiye alimwalika yeye ndiye alimuita mnajua mheshimiwa John Waluke mwenzetu ako katika prison kwa sababu nyinyi wote mnajua yale yalifanyika but mama is here kesi ya mheshimiwa bado iko pending in court he is filed an appeal and i think he is trying to secure his release pending appeal ye bado ni mbunge until all the appeals are exhausted hawezi kuondolewa kama mbunge so mama is here we pray for you mama be strong with the family yale ilipata inaweza kupata mtu mwingine yeyote so lakini kabla niite leader of majority katika assembly anajirekebisha na anajipanga Mungu akimjalia atoke atakuwa na siasa kali sana kushinda bila amekuwa akikuwa, akikuwa na hiyo siasa Mimi najua waluke na namtetea kwa sababu ni mtu aliye na maono mazuri katika kujenga area yake ya Sirisia Naomba ya kwamba vile bwana governor wetu amesema nimefuatilia kwa karibu sana maendeleo yake na niko namkumbusha nikisema Sirisia tuko na shida ya maji na kwa vile amenunua machine ya kuchimba maji naomba anzie Sirisia Nilipewa muda mfupi naitwa Roslyn Waluke mke wa mheshimiwa John Waluke tumwombee sivyo Asante Asante mai Bonano Mheshimiwa nyongeza mbona anona reja ta nenya sese ko siti sandri ko ndi mheshimiwa gavana makuloma mambo ya matusi nende ko yokera na hifai ada niko kagira mwabo nese na ko mire ko mundu ta nenya ko ko mako mundu ta kwa sababu haina maana iwo ko paroli wewe hakuna mahali ya unakosa ya kutuziwa kila mtu ako na mahali anaweza kutuziwa kabisa kila mtu ako na weakness so hatutaki mambo kama hayo lazima tutembee pamoja tuheshimiane tufanye kazi pamoja nyongeza alikuwa hapa MCA ninaambiwa ametoka eh, wale waheshimiwa MCS haswa wa Bungoma simameni mmoja wenu akuje mbele Debut kuna debut Mili iko wapi masungo Koja hapa mbele wewe Sawa Kwa sababu amefika hapa na nguru waja asalimie dakika moja mili kama and finish wale wengine amjitambulisha vizuri you must wave properly tafadhali wave ya asanteni sana um mheshimiwa governor mheshimiwa yujin wa malwa chairman wa COG Karibu Bungoma kwa majina mimi naitwa Mheshimiwa Charles Nangulu mimi ni MCA kutoka Sirisia na represent na Mwela Ward 
karibu sana na sasa nimesema karibu tena asante Your Excellency the host governor Your Excellency is present from other counties area member of parliament present Weshmiwa viongozi wenzangu na wananchi wa Bungoma hamjambo Kwa niaba ya Bungoma County Assembly nataka kuchukua fursa hii niweze pia kujiunga na wenzangu kusherekea maendeleo ambayo gavana wetu wa Jimbo la Bungoma ameweza kutekeleza You are excellency as we celebrate this achievement it's cutting across because this is equally shared in our wards our wards are the best to all these achievements mimi nataka nikushukuru na niwe mfupi sana majina yangu ni mheshimiwa Mili Masungo MCA Misiru Ward and the women leader of Fort Kenya Bungoma County nikimalizia kuna mwenzetu majority leader from Kakamega County mheshimiwa kuja salmia wananchi asante sana Mgeni wa heshimiwa mheshimiwa Yuji Nwamalwa magavana wote wakiongezwa na chama ni wao mheshimiwa Wycliffe Ambeto Paranya wa bunge na MCS wenzangu hamjambo Mimi nitakuwa mfupi sana na kabla sijanena ningependa tu wale wa bunge kutoka Kakamega msimame muwevu Asandeni Langu ni kuahimiza tu magavana muendelee kusaidia wananchi na msichoke Hata Yesu alikuwa anaponyesha watu lakini alisuludiwa Kwa hivyo gavana wewe endelea kusaidia watu yako endelea kupigania wa Kenya hata wakikutusi jina lako litakumbukwa na vizazi vijao Asandeni Majority leader Tanzania and the whip tafadhali tupunge mkono wakati wetu umekwisha tupunge tu mkono mara tupo Okay come and say your name tafadhali Gavana wa Tanzania wa, wa, wa Bungoma viongozi wote ambao mko hapa na wasalimu bwana asifiwe I'm the deputy majority leader Tanzania County na sisi leo pia kama wakaaji wa Tanzania tumejifunza mengi kutoka kwa gavana wa Bungoma na tukiwa na deputy governor wetu hapa naamini kwa haswa kwa masuala ya ECD being the chairman of education and ICT bwana deputy governor mambo ya walimu wa ECD pia nasi Tanzania nataka tufanye jambo kwa hayo machache tunasema governor endelea kuchapa kazi ili watu wa Bungoma waweze kupata manufaa kutoka kwa uongozi wako asante sana CS and your excellencies on behalf of all of us allow me just to invite her excellency the first lady to make a statement na tualike kwa maanguli your excellency our cabinet secretary mshimiwa Eugene is also my mlamwa our visiting excellencies the governors from the other counties our host governor his excellency wikif kwangamati my beloved husband our county commissioner our members of parliament present our mcas our cabinet wananchi wetu wa bungoma wote bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe tena Nimefurahi sana nikapata hii nafasi ya kuweza kuwa salimu tu na kuambia santeni sana kwa kukaa na, na siku ya leo. Tumeona kazi ambayo Mheshimiwa Governor Wangamati His Excellency ameweza kufanya na himizo langu litakuwa tu hivi. Kwa yeyote ambaye amekuwa hapa siku ya leo, tafuta nafasi uone hiyo documentary ambayo tulianza kuona na uweze kuiona hadi mwisho. 
na baadaye pia kutakuwa na kitabu ambacho kinaenda kuandaliwa hapa ambacho utaweza kukiona baadaye na uweze kuona kazi ambayo serikali ya gavana wangamati imeweza kutenda katika jimbo letu la Bungoma mimi kama mke wake na watoto wetu watatu tuna, tunajivunia sana kazi ya gavana na gavana nataka kuhakikishia hapa ya kwamba hata mengine yote yakifanyika you have four permanent supporters myself and your three children and we're very proud of you we're very proud of the work that you're doing na himizo langu ni hivi tulikuachilia sisi tukaendelea kukaa Nairobi uje ufanye watu wa Bungoma kazi bado uko na miaka mbili yako na mimi na imani ya kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu ana mipango mizuri sana zaidi ya hiyo miaka miwili na ninakuhimiza tu endelea kufanya hiyo kazi na wale wageni ambao waliweza kufika hapa kukaa na sisi asante sana kwa kuchukua huo muda kuweza kusimama na sisi especially nimeshukuru sana wa cabinet secretary na the governors and the deputy governors that are here si kitu cha kawaida kuweza kuja na kukaa siku mzima nasi so langu ni kupeana shukrani watu wetu wa Bungoma ambao wamekuwa hapa kwa wingi sana asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki wote na kwa sasa kwa vile kwa vile kuna chakula ambacho tumeandaa mteza kuelekezwa na usitoke kabla haujakula chakula cha kusherehekea report card ya governor wangamati ya miaka mitatu Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki amen Thank you very much. Let me ask the excellencies to just be upstanding when we line up here and the CS we want now to officially launch the magazine maybe one line just one line Your excellency the first lady in one line to song and bele tafadhali Jumbe be tuweze kusonga tafadhali in one line for the CS to make some declaration DG oh, tafadhali Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, our host governor and your colleagues, our first lady and all those who have uh, participated in this wonderful celebration of devolution in Bungoma County. And I'm um, truly honored to have been the chief guest here today. I've been given another very uh, honorable task to do, and this is to unveil the Bungoma County magazine. And with your permission, may I now declare the Bungoma County Magazine officially launched. Asante sana. Aya, cheza kidogo, cheza kidogo, cheza kidogo. Mwana mbere tuimbe mwana mbere na shekho ero Mwana mbere mwana mbere na shekho ero Mwana mbere na shekho ero Vikelekele kina mama vikelekele kidogo na makofi 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 kidogo Mwana mbere mwana mbere na shekho ero Mana mbere mana mbere na chefero Mana mbere mana mbere na chef Asante sana asante We want to tell you that these magazines that are particular when you would say to especially to the MCS because the projects that we have highlighted here ni zile ambazo zinapatikana kule mashinani Ningependa sote tuweze kusimama kwa wimbo wa taifa Guests, you may please live at your pleasure. Thank you very much. The guests are going to hall A. 
the rest of us kupet nuts twende kwenye auditorium asante